friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla, and I'm very happy to be here with you today. And you probably noticed something different about me right off the bat. <laughs> so I am happy to say that I am able to wear my dentures. Now I'm going to have to learn to talk with these because <laughs> I know I sound off. But I guess that's a learning process. And the more I talk, I guess the better I'll be. And I just realized, like, I'm just sitting here, you know, like all day, quiet. I guess I need to start just talking to get practice. So that's what I plan to start doing. <laughs> so I went to the dentist today. I had my dental appointment. And I do want you all to know that I am smiling through the pain, okay? <laughs> I still have lots of pain going on, a lot of discomfort, um, but I'm smiling anyway, okay? <laughs> I'm happy to be moving forward and not stuck in the same position. So anyway, I'd like to show you my teeth that I am very proud of. They they're coming they're coming across really white on the screen. They're really not that white like when I look in the mirror. I did not pick the white white color. Like when I got to pick the colors, I picked the second one down that wasn't the like bright neon white. <laughs> but anyway, here's my teeth. <laughs> I'm very proud of them and very appreciative of them. So I went to the dentist today and um, I showed her, you know, what was going on with the bone fragment teeth pieces or whatever coming through. And she looked at them and everything and she said, I'll be right back. So I'm in this chair like facing a wall. She goes back over here. You know, and then she comes back around my head, and before I know it, she has a pair of pliers in my mouth. <laughs> and she's pulling those pieces out, and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I mean, it hurt, it hurt. I'm like, we didn't even deaden it. Like, she didn't give me anything for pain or deaden it or numb it or anything. And I'm just like, I'm crying, okay? <laughs> that hurt like crazy and she's just pulling a bunch of pieces out and I was just like oh my gosh and like blood she came in paper towels and I was blood bleeding and everything you know but um she pulled out a bunch of pieces and it hurt like crazy <laughs> like I would expect you to deaden it she said the dentist doesn't like open it back up to take out pieces like that because it is starting the process over. And that's what I was already thinking in my mind. Like that's one of the reasons why I was kind of dreading that because I didn't want to start the process over. And that's the exact words that she used. And so um, she had just pulled them out with some pliers right there. <laughs> so anyway... And then she went away, and I had a bottle of lidocaine, liquid lidocaine, in my purse. So I got that and put it some in my mouth and swished it around while she was gone. <laughs> and then she came back, and she got the gingers. Mm. She put some stuff on the inside of them. And put them in my mouth. And then that showed like where rubbing was going on. And then she went and worked on them for like a very long time. Then she brought them back and tried them. Um, the top part was much better. The bottom part still had a little bit. And so she worked on them a little bit more. And then... Um, we just got it to the point where it was, you know, like, not 
so painful that I was sitting there crying. Because <laughs> I was crying. <laughs> when she was pulling those pieces out. Anyway, so I'm thankful that we're to this point where I can actually wear the dentures. No, they're not comfortable. I mean, I'm still in a lot of pain. But I've decided I'm going to smile through the pain, okay? I might have tears, but I'm going to smile anyway, okay? <laughs> oh, y'all, this has been a process. I mean, I still have a long way to go. And actually, after she had got, you know, like, auspices to leave, and she had done everything she was going to do for me, she said, you, should, you still have a long way to go. You have a lot of healing to do. Um, it's going to take a while, and I just started crying. <laughs> I just started crying again. Oh, gosh, you probably thought it was a crybaby. But, I mean, it's painful. It is. Don't let anybody tell you this is not painful. <laughs> it is so painful. So, I am just trying to, um, you know, wear them get used to them because it feels like a mouthful like oh my gosh and I keep trying to gag like I'm having issues with wanting to gag now some of you guys have been through this before so you can give me some tips probably on that and tell me um how to get past that gagging feeling and such, you know. And I do want to ask this. I saw a comment somewhere. And now I cannot find the comment. I don't know where I read this at. Or if Big Daddy told me or what. But somebody said. That with the pieces coming out of the gums and stuff like that. That chewing gum helped them. Now they were talking about without the dentures in. They were talking about just chewing bubble gum or whatever gum, you know. But here's my question for that. I was like, huh. Because my gums don't touch. My gums only go like, they don't touch each other. So how would I chew gum? I mean, if it helps work those pieces out, I'm all for doing that. But how would I do that if my gums don't touch? I was confused by that. So tell me. <laughs> How did you chew gum? If it, did your gums touch? Or no? I mean, I don't know. I'm sorry about, about sassy here. <laughs> so I was just very confused about that. Because um, my gums do not touch at all. But anyway. Pop down, baby. Um... I, I don't know. It's going to take a lot of getting used to it. And I know just wearing them is what is going to help get used to them. But I still have that strong, strong gag feeling. <laughs> That's a horrible feeling. Uh, she did tell me to drink out of a straw. And so I questioned her and asked her, you know, like, I can drink out of a straw? And she's like, yes. She said that if I drink out of a straw... It will help suction the teeth down. So, I plan to do that. <laughs> but anyway, um, I did try to eat some mashed potatoes a little bit ago with um, the teeth in, and I couldn't do it. I had to take the bottom ones out. I couldn't get the top ones out. But I took the bottom ones out and ate a little bit of mashed potato. But the top one is what's making me have that gag reflex. And I couldn't eat the mashed potatoes because I just kept feeling like I was going to gag. And I couldn't get the top ones out. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to get them out. Is there some kind of trick to getting them in and out? When I was wearing them before... I was able to get them in and out. I don't know. But now, today, I'm having trouble 
doing that. <laughs> I don't know. You can give me some tips if you've been through this before, and I know several of you have said that you did. Um, give me some tips of what, how to get them in and out, um, how to eat with them. You know, soft foods. I'm only eating mashed potatoes, soups. Um, you know, I can't eat um, a lot of food anyway because of my esophagus and I have my feeding tube. But, you know, I do like to eat um, something. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh. Big Daddy came home from work last night and he, he needed to go to Walmart to get a few things. So we went to KFC and got uh, some I got some mashed potatoes and he got like a chicken sandwich it looks so good but I couldn't eat that anyway even even you know if I had my own teeth I couldn't eat that so I ate um, two small mashed potatoes and gravy and my friend Angela called me and I answered the phone and she said what are you doing I said I'm sitting at KFC licking on some chicken <laughs> oh goodness but anyway um and I know that there was some discussion about mashed potatoes we do have mashed potato mixes the little cups and small bags in there in the kitchen I just don't like them okay I like the taste of mashed potatoes and gravy from KFC I don't like the taste of the ones that Big Daddy fixes first off they're lumpy <laughs> stick it up they just don't have a lot of flavor to them <laughs> and so but we do have mashed potatoes here if I was to get desperate I could eat them but I don't want to <laughs> I'm going through enough I need something that tastes good, okay? <laughs> I don't want to just eat some gluey potatoes, lumpy, gluey potatoes with gravy that doesn't taste good. I want something that tastes good. <laughs> oh, anyway, guys, this has been a it's been a process, and I'm thankful to be this far along in it. Um, today is two weeks, excuse me, today is two weeks along, so, you know, I still have a little time to go to let my gums heal and let, um, you know, whatever's happening happen, get used to the teeth and all that kind of stuff, but I do feel like it is a mouthful. I feel like they're huge in my mouth. And I know that's just going to take getting used to. But how long does it take to get used to them? And do they ever start to feel like natural or just part of your mouth? Or like, can you tell me about how that changes? Like how the feeling changes? Like after you've had them a while? Now this isn't my permanent teeth. These are temporaries. I think I get my permanent ones in sometime in September, I believe. Um, and I forgot what those are called. But they're called something. I can't think of what they're called. <laughs> But I did want to come on here today and just update you guys to let you know that what happened at the dentist today and, um, you know, that I'm able to wear my teeth now. She did say if they get to hurting really bad, just take them out. She said there's no reason to suffer. Just take them out and let your gums, you know, rest and heal some and then try it again. So that's what I'll be doing anyway guys um yeah it, it is still painful like you know my whole mouth is still hurting but you know like I'm gonna smile through the pain okay because I'm happy to be to this point like I'm really excited to have teeth 
<laughs> I know. I'm so appreciative to you all for helping me along. I really, really am. I'm just so appreciative. And I know there was lots of you that gave through the GoFundMe that Jennifer from Cinnamon Sisha set up. And I just appreciate that so much. But even if you didn't, wasn't able to give to that, just by watching my videos also helps me. So I appreciate that. It helps me just as much. It really does. The Etsy shop. Now, do we are going to make a video on that because I know a lot of people just aren't seeing the things I've been saying about Etsy. Request your money back. Etsy has your money. I don't. Etsy did not send me not one penny. Etsy did not send me shipping to send anybody's cup. They did not send me payment for anybody's cup. Request your money back from Etsy because Etsy has your money, not me. I never received anything. So take that up with Etsy. Request your money back. They will refund your money. I've been seeing them refund people's money. We are going to do something different with the cups later. Um, but I want to get this Etsy stuff like sorted out first. Like I want people to get their refunds. So, and I think we're going to make a separate video on that just so that um, people, you know, might see that and know to go to Etsy and request your refund. And they will refund you. They're refunding people. But I just want everybody to like speed up that process to get it done. Anyway, so there's not any cups. No cups have been mailed. So don't think. Don't sit there waiting to think in your cup is coming. It's not. Because Etsy did not transfer any money to cover cups, shipping, or anything like that. I just want to be very clear on that. <laughs> but anyway, I thank you guys so very much. And I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I am going to practice talking so that this does get better. But... The more I talk, the more I'm about to gag. So, <laughs> give me all your tips. If you've been through this, just give me your tips. How to get used to them. The gagging. <laughs> Did they ever become more, like, comfortable or natural feeling? I'm just really gagging. I know y'all can tell that. Yes, I'm going to have to go. I love you guys, and remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet, and I will see you all again in the next video. Bye, friends.